All right, guys, just got the slab kind of prepped uh, for the wood boiler. Got the crown rail stove. Um, this I'm doing nine by seven. That'll give you a four foot in front of the boiler and about three foot to the side. Uh, that'll fit my IBC totes hanging off a little bit, but I should fit my IBC totes um, along the side. I can fit two of them for loading the wood stove. I did about four and a half inches of concrete on this, and then where the legs go, I just dug down a little more. Uh, with this size, you know, five inches, that gives me about a yard of concrete. So I keep it at about a yard, uh, it's just under. And then with the holes to thicken the pad where the legs are on the wood boiler, I leveled out around the outside kind of roughly. So as soon as we get concrete, we'll pour this. I'm still going to cut a piece of metal, a cattle panel or something to stick in here just to strengthen the pad. So yeah. We're going to show you that. It's a pretty simple install, just some 2x4s, some bracers. I just got to cut off some of those flush yet. Um, it should be a pretty easy pour. I've got the Rhino or Rhino, whatever this stuff is, the insulated line that goes just under the corner of the slab out here and then straight to the house. I wanted to keep as close a slab as I could if I ever had to dig it out or something. I wasn't right under the slab. Um, but I left on the outside of the slab because the wood boiler hangs over the edge with the feet. So I'll show you that once we get it installed. 